In this presentation, we will look at an overview of management accounting. To understand how management accounting works, first let's look at the difference between financial accounting and management accounting. Financial accounting is the you make the reports for external users. When you mean by external users, it's the users outside of your organization. For example, the shareholders, the tax auditors and so on. Management accounting you create the reports for internal users that is within your organization your managers your finance managers your ceos and so on in financial accounting the two primary or the three primary statements financial statements are the balance sheet income statement and you can also call the cash flow statement in management accounting your primary reports are your cost center reports profit center reports you, if you have product costing, you have a product costing reports, profitability analysis reports and so on. So you are looking at a more detailed level within your organization. These financial accounting reports are created at a company code level. So that means you are creating this at an overall company level. And this way you create the balance sheet and income statement for your company and you publish it to the public. In management accounting, you are primarily having these cost center profit center reports for your budgeting or planning versus actual and then you can see the variances you can also have commitment reports as well and these are done at your division or department levels in sap financial accounting is generally represented as a sap fi module fi stands for financial accounting and in SAP, Management Accounting is represented as a SAP CU module. CU stands for Controlling or you can also call it as Management Accounting. Let's look at the components of the CU module. The primary components of the CU module consists of cost elements or you can call it as GL accounts, cost centers, profit centers, internal orders, profitability analysis and product costing. Now you might be very familiar with general ledger accounts if you are from a, coming from a financial background. These are your chart of accounts and in this your expense accounts are created as cost elements and your revenue accounts are also created as your cost elements. So in CEO we are concerned with the income statement. So your income statement chart of accounts are created as cost elements and your reporting is done at that level. Cost centers can be your departments or divisions. Profit centers is something which generates revenue. It can be a business unit which generates revenue as well as expenses. So you can see the overall profit. Internal orders is another unit where you can manage and monitor the expenses for various different items. Profitability analysis, you are looking at your product level profitability analysis, revenue and expense and profitability at various different segments by regions, by sales areas and so on. And product costing, you are looking at your total itemized costing for a product which you are producing or manufacturing at your organization. Generally, all the values or initially flow from the financial accounting module to the CU module where the conduit is the GL accounts. So every entry which you have in your CU module, you can tie it back to your financial accounting module. Unless you have entries flowing within your CO modules, then it might be separately held in your CO module. However, via the GL account, you can always reflect back to your financial accounting, which was the original point of entry. For example, if you initially had some expense at one particular cost center, then that will be reflected in your financial accounting as well as your management accounting. Later, you can transfer that expense from one cost center to another cost center. So then you're transferring within the CO module itself. At the time of financial entry, if it's an expense account, we generally specify something called a cost object. This cost object, just by the name itself, cost object, is like a cost bucket which holds the costs, like a cost center, an internal order, or a WBS, which is part of the PS module. Let's look at a high level view of flow of costs in the CEO module. One is a overhead cost controlling. Generally, when you cannot directly assign a cost to a specified goods or services, then you use the overhead cost controlling to allocate the costs. This can be your cost centers or internal orders and you allocate common costs such as your electricity, water, rental and so on. And then from those 
costs which you allocate to your cost center or internal orders you can then allocate it based on the product which you are going to manufacture or service which you are going to produce product cost controlling takes at a more deeper level where for each individual product you are going to analyze the itemized costs like direct costs, indirect costs and so on and then you can settle this cost to the FIO COPA module we will look at this more in depth in the upcoming presentation for now just just uh, have a general view that these are different type of costs which flow within the CO module and then lastly is the profitability analysis where you can analyze the revenue and cost of profitability of your products by different dimensions such as your region location customer groups product groups and so on in this slide we look at how costs are flowing from other different modules for example in financial accounting when you do your expense posting you can specify a CO object such as a cost center and you can post a cost against this so generally your general postings can be like this for example if you need to pay some fees uh, maybe a council fees or some kind of fees then you can create a FI invoice and then post it against one specific cost center then the flow is coming from financial accounting to CO module another module where the cost flow from is a HR module salary and other related remuneration costs are posted to a cost center so the employee cost each employee might be allocated to one specific cost center and their expenses are posted and the cost center holds those expenses these can later be allocated to the production cost centers from the MM module that's materials management module during the purchase order process you can post the cost to a cost center at this time only a commitment is made not an actual cost when you perform your goods receipt and invoice receipt then the actual cost gets reflected from the SD module which is the sales and distribution module during the sales process there will be postings to the CO module it can post to a profit center or sometimes you can also post to a profitability analysis as well so this the general process for the SD module is the sales order goods issue and billing we will go through all this in detail when we go into the product costing phase of the CO presentations and in the PS module as project systems module you can use the WBS element which is another cost object and you can settle this WBS element to an asset or cost center or any other relevant objects so when you post settle this to a cost center then the cost is flowing from the PS module to the CO module when you settle to fixed assets it generally goes to the FI module so in this presentation we saw the difference between financial accounting and management accounting we also went through a high level view of how the costs are flowing within the CU module and how the costs are coming from other modules as well we'll conclude this presentation and in the next presentations we'll get in more detail into the CU structures